Hey, what's up, y'all? Y'all good? I hope so. I hope y'all having a good day and been having a great week so far. Listen, let's get into this video because, babe, I need to know what in the Mariah Huck is going on here. Like, what what is going on? Like, they, okay, so this is going to be one of my scenario videos. And if you've been over here for a minute, then you already know how I am, how my mind works. So let's get into this commentary. Everything that I'm saying in this video is in my opinion. I'm not making any kind of claim or rendering any judgment. I'm just merely reporting my opinions of the situation. And the Copyright Act of 1976, Section 107, gives me fair use of this information in my commentary while I do a little criticism and research. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. So with everything that has been unfolding since the girls trip, I have a question. But first, when Mel went live, when she was getting her hair braided, she said that she was going on a girls trip and flying her girls out first class. Now, when she said this, you know, I'm thinking, okay, a quick trip with her friends before everything get busy. Because, you know, she had the Easter egg hunt coming up. She got new products and merch dropping. Mimosas with Melody. She going with Dr. Shanita to Africa in April. So it was a lot of things. So I'm just thinking quick trip, refresh our mind, get rejuvenated. Well, as everybody started posting their to their stories, we soon figured out, oh, okay, the girl's trip is being filmed for the show. It's not just like Mel going out with her friends. This was really for the show. We saw Stormy post, Tisha posting about three or four days and Mel posted them being on the UTVs. Then we got this pick of Mel that Lauren Snuck and took a male staring down at somebody at the other end of the table. So then the next day, I think it was when Story posted about wanting to get stuff off her chest, elf ratings, and people trying to destroy her brand. And then we saw Dr. Shanita. She had to let folks know that she ain't the one. I mean, the IG stories, y'all were going crazy. Then the latest thing was when Miss Nell posted a reel from her trip that gagged all of us. I know it gagged me, baby. In the trailer, which started off with pics, then it transitioned to a video, she panned the camera around. And I was like, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Miss Nell, uh-uh. Turn the camera back. I'm trying to see something. So she turns the camera back. And I done turned it to Big Boy from ATL like, that ain't who I think it is, is it? Baby, yes, it was. It was who I thought it was. And it was Miss Destiny Payton on the boat in the Virgin Islands on Mel's trip. Now, this was not in my bingo cards. It was not. Now, when stuff started to unfold, you already know my mind on overdrive. And it made me think about The Real Housewives and Married to Medicine. I remember there being conversations by Candy and Kyle about how trips work and that it starts with production and a trip can be assigned or picked by a cast member. And according to Andy, sometimes they pay for the trip and sometimes the ladies pay for the trip. So... I don't know if it works the same with Love and Marriage Huntsville, but I would think it would be kind of similar, right? Production suggests the location and maybe a cast member to host it to call it their trip. And they just go from there. Like season four was Vegas. It tied in with Tisha and Marceau's anniversary. Then last year, well, last season, we got Houston with the Fletchers, which kind of came off as a thank you for welcoming us into the group type of thing. Now, this time it's the islands and male which kind of plays off of, you know, Mel always flying out, enjoying herself, living life. She loves water. She loves the islands. So everything kind of tied in together. Well, going off of my scenario and my thoughts, and this is just a hypothesis. If production suggested the islands and Mel as the host, and then all this mess un unfolded, it really started making me think about Mariah Huck. We already know that the word on these YouTube streets and in social media is that some folks feel like the cast is trying to ice Mel out of her own show the same way they did Mariah. Or as Mariah put it, quote, vote folks off the island, end quote. So y'all already know. Y'all see where I'm going with this. Because if you think back to that interview that Carlos did with Mariah, she said that in that interview. And Carlos, he got this very mischievous smirk, in my opinion. And y'all know I'm into facial expressions, body language, cadence. So once I saw the pic of Mel with that stone face staring down at somebody and the caption of that picture reading, quote, sometimes my ears can't believe what I'm hearing, end quote. And then I thought about Mel's other posts 
that she ain't thinking about the puppets, baby. She coming for the puppet master. It took me back to that interview with Carlos and Mariah and that look on his face. That slanted smirk. It was a slanted smirk. The way his eyes were. It, it just made me think about that. So in this part of the interview, Carlos asked Mariah if the show is living up to her vision. And she said no. She felt like it could do so much more. It could do better with the right producers. And that she felt like the cast needed to, it needed a shake up. Because every season, it just looked like the same old thing. And that's when she made reference to voting folks off the island. Listen to what she say and pay attention to his facial expression. Let's get into it. Like, why are they still voting bitches off the island? Like, I just don't get it. Like, who does that? I, I don't understand that. So that right there had me like, wow, okay. Are they really trying to vote this lady off the island? And the island being the show she created? And like I said before, and will continue to say, Melody Cherie is the brainchild and creator of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Carlos is the creator by way of completely changing the concept of the show and the name. Okay, let's not get it twisted. Sidebar, Candy tried to tell us and Sheree experienced it when it came to Ladies List Atlanta. Okay, now back to this slanted smile. Because see, that slanted smile, that's what did it for me. And it was like his eyes did this little twinkle <laughs> that you see in horror movies when somebody is possessed or shape-shifting. Norman Bates, he had that same smile at the end of Psycho. And the Joker, Heath Ledger, that's my favorite, had that same slanted smile when he was talking to Batman and told Batman that he wasn't a monster. He was just ahead of the curve. Yeah. Like, I don't know what all this means. I just know how my mind thinks. And y'all know that I'm a free thinker who thinks critically. I don't base my thoughts on what other people think. I move to the beat of my own drum. That's why I try to avoid watching any videos before I make my own because I don't want my opinion or my viewpoints to change, right? But I need to know if y'all feel like it's almost giving Mariah Huck, like they are trying to ice her out, vote her off the island, off the island that she created. Like, it's crazy to me. And did y'all expect to see um Destiny? I see that Miss Nell went back and edited. <laughs> she went back and edited that reel. Now, I don't know who got on about it. But she sure took it down and just put it back up with just pictures of herself. It was nothing in there of Destiny. But it was too late then. Everybody had screen recorded and already put information out. So, it is what it is. But y'all get down in the comments and tell me what you think, okay? Please like, share, subscribe. And remember over here, what I say in the video is my opinion. What you say in the comments is yours. If yours different from mine, I'm not coming down there to change your viewpoints. Keep it cute in the comments. We'll always see each other, okay? Y'all take care and have a good day.